Hello and welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial I'll be showing you how to create a crate with um, a nice amount of detail on it and it's going to pretty much be um, pretty much flat like this but it's going to have a nice little texture effect what kind of makes it look a bit more high dense and so like what we're going to start off with is the basic cube what is here we're going into tab um, note down here if you miss what I'm saying you can actually see what I'm doing but when I double hit I there's some sort of bug and it isn't shown um, I X2 so I'm going to hit I um, twice and scale that in and I'm going to do it again and scale that in right. and now we're going to select all these Faces like this all the way around the box, so give me a sec. Um, do just one chuck a general question out there. Do anyone know of any free good editing video software? Um, I tried Windows Movie Maker, it isn't really that good for what I want to do because they're quite too kind of quite bad. And I find using Blender's um, editing software a little bit tricky. I kind of want something simple. If anyone knows anything like that, could you please uh, leave me a comment or? something all right now we go down here and we want individual origins and we hit e and we scale them in uh about there it's probably it's a little bit far but uh, that can't be good enough anyway then i'm going to put this back to the default or oh, this one there and now what we want to do is hit tab again and uh, we want to create a new box but i'm going to turn the box what we've made off rename this one hp for high poly so i can easily see and lp for low poly uh, and now what we're going to want to do with, we will go and want to turn low poly back on hit tab go into edit mode hit u uh, Smart UV unwrap, and we're going to put this to 0.1. So let's go and put it to that number there, right, and we'll go OK. Now we see like a little uh, paper fold thing in the corner here. We drag that over. Get hit T on this window because we're not going to want that toolbar in the way. We go to UV image editor, right, and now we're going to want to hit A in here, select all our UVs, hit new. Uh, you can fiddle with uh, what texture size you want, but if you're making it for a game or really any any general purpose, you most likely want to work uh, with power of two. Um, I will leave a link in, or I'll leave some information in the description on that, so you can get the general ideas of what size is uh, good, good definitely for um, games if you're making a game and stuff, because power of two use less resources or something I'm not quite sure but it's best to go with power of two. Anyway, we hit OK on that. Now black um, background comes up that's alright. We're going to want to select our high poly and our low poly. And now over to the camera icon our window and settings we're going to one two I don't know if this does anything but I'll want that on it. <laughs> Alright I always do that. I'm not sure if it works or not. We select this box here, and what we're going to do is we want to bake this out here. That is so we can make a normal map in either GIMP or Photoshop. I'll make it. I will make two separate videos for that. And if we hit bake, it will bake out a nice image. I will save that on my desktop just so I have that for later. Um, for the later tutorials, make it random shit. Sure. Right. Uh, okay, we we're not going to really want to bake that uh, for the detail at the moment. But this is going to be the normal map, like I just said. Um, we're one AO map, so we're going to bake AO map and ambient occlusion map. So, uh, if you don't know what uh, like a shorthand for us calling it um, AO. Uh, um, and now if we hide the high poly, we're not going to need that for now. We could, we could even go ahead and delete that. 
what we're going to want to do is go um, I want to change it to material um, going to want to add a light so we can kind of see what's going on here uh, going to give them, uh, click back on our box uh, we're going to want to go over to the this panel here uh, and click new uh, and uh, we want this image to be in here so it shows up on here and um, like I, I go in here I think sometimes it uh, here sometimes um, it is sometimes it's not I'm sure why um, but if not try open or it, if it isn't click on um, here Go into image or movie and then click on it over here. And that should show up in here now. And is it coming up on text mode? Yeah, it's coming up on text mode, not material. Um, yeah, okay, don't know why it's coming up on text mode, not material. Does it come up on render? No, it didn't come up on render. Uh, maybe it's something comes in. Um, just give me a sec. Uh, Oh, okay, you're going to probably want to. Uh, does that work? No, uh, okay, so I'll close that and do. Oh, okay, now we're going to want to click on our picture. Uh, okay, uh, that got that in there. Um, now we can go to render and uh, pretty much you can actually save this out as well. And then later on, you can actually I'll call it some random stuff. But, um, then you can actually pretty much use this, do this for your base texture, like, uh, like lighting and stuff like that. It's what gives it uh, full um, detail of um, depth, so it kind of makes it look like it inserted a bit. But what you could do is put uh, your texture and your fractures and details on top of it, and so really you just have this on your. Uh, your base layer so it's underneath all the other layers in photoshop or gimp and then you put colors and crashes and stuff like that over it and you can yeah so that's pretty much what i'll be doing that and that, that's pretty much it for then this tutorial i hope it's been useful if um you want to make you if you want me to make any more tutorials uh to give me uh give me some ideas and stuff because i really want to make some more tutorials not sure what to make i want I've got a couple of things planned, but yeah, uh, thank you for watching and uh, see you later.